hello everybody and welcome back to another episode from my Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing so good here in my kitchen, just hanging out while you guys are sitting over there in my shelf. How's it going up there? I know it's a little dusty, might be a little bit of cobwebbage down there, but it's okay. Who wants to be my cleaning person? Let me know in the comment section. Give me your resume. Let me know who's the best of the best and I'll, <laughs> I'll hire you. Uh, I'll give you some iron. I got some iron. I hardly have any diamonds, okay? But in today's episode, oh man, we're gonna have some fun. Last episode, we built something cool. We built a storage facility, and I haven't moved in there yet. I have a lot of junk here, but it's okay. You know what I'm planning on doing? I'm planning on doing a live stream, probably the same day I release this video, and I'm gonna have everybody hanging out with me while I do organization. Isn't that cool? Yes, I'm streaming, it's coming. But um, uh, there's some stuff here that I need. Uh, let's get some uh, insects. Uh, give me some planks. How about some bones? Let's get some sticks and some string. And why not? I'll take a beetroot. Are these random items, you say? Yes, they are, but they're going to serve a purpose. So a lot of people are telling me, Sausage, you should put a banner in your shield. It increases the, the durability, and the uh, and it's going to look cool, right? Is that true? I don't even know. I don't know about the durability part, but I know it's going to look cool. So let's make a loom. Look at that pretty old loom right there. Oh, so perfect. Also, while I'm here, why not do it, right? Let's make our very first fishing rod. That's right, we're gonna be making a fishing hut, but not today, coming up very, very soon. I got a perfect spot for that too, but guess what? We're gonna be using these bones today uh, to make banner stuff, but not only that. We're gonna be getting so much bonage, it's gonna be insane. A lot of people in the last episode said sausage bonage is the real word. You just, you, you made it up, but it's real to me. I love it. Uh, we're gonna make a skeleton farm XP thing, and it's gonna be amazing. I got a tutorial ready to go. And do you guys know that beetroot also does this? It's not that useless after all. You know what? Let's combine. And let's make some white dye. I'm going to combine some of these and make some gray. That's right. All right. There it is. I think this is going to be a cool banner pattern. Uh, let's figure this out. Now, I want to put the loom in a nice spot. Let's put it right here, actually. This is a good spot. Loom, get on down here sideways. Oh, look how pretty. A little empty bookshelf. Um, But I need to make banners, right? Brownie, you want to go over to the sanctuary real quick and get some wool? Of course you do. Right when it starts raining. What are the odds of this? Ah, oh, you ready to get wet? Nope. <laughs> it had to rain, didn't it? All right, let's get some shears. I, pff, we need some more. And you know what I'm going to do, too? Get a brand new sword. This sword's on its last leg. Let's make a quick sword. There it is. Rip sword. Bye. Yeah, I could have waited until it died. But you know what? What if I'm in a big, huge battle and all of a sudden, boom, 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 I, I'm, uh, I'm swordless. This is horrible. Brown, I'm going to wait for the next day. This is way too much. I don't like this. Can the rain please stop? I want to go outside and have some fun. This is the worst. Oh, come on. Can I sleep this off? Nope. I know, Brownie. I understand. I want to go have fun too, but it's raining. I'm glad you understand. I ain't going out there. Yes. Finally. All right, Brownie. Let's go. Oh, uh, what a lovely day it is here in our beautiful world. Oh, man. It'll be a shame if we die and lose it all, right? Oh, God. I don't... I'm doing my best. Oh. Oh, oh, oh Brownie. Brownie. It's fine. Now, before we go over there, uh, let's get rid of that. We did this. And let's get rid of storage room. We did those. Okay, I'm not going to replace those anytime soon. Because you know what? Let's just get rid of these first. And then we'll decide what to do after. We got so many things on our plate. Even the thing that I'm going to add today is not even on that list. So, um, it's okay. We'll get to it eventually. You know what else we'll get to eventually? A horse stable. It's coming. I promise. Eventually. Don't worry about it. Oh, so I should clear out this um, sugar cane here. It looks ugly now. We should do a little sugar cane farm. We'll add that to the list, too. And you know what else I want to do? A little bit of a path around here. I might do that on a stream. And yes, I'm streaming. Don't you worry about it. Uh, but here it is. This is where the skeleton farm is. It's literally down there. Well, it's not a farm yet. The skeleton spawner is down below. This is the exact center of that thing. And I'm not sure what to do above it, but we'll figure it out. First off, we'll follow a nice little tutorial. I'll put a link in the description. I have no idea who did that tutorial. It's literally sitting somewhere in my um, favorite somewhere. I don't know. Uh, and we'll do it together. It's pretty simple. Just dig out a hole um, and put a water stream or whatever. A water elevator, I think. I don't know. I've never done one of those. Oh, my God. I thought the, the, the farmers were gone. For a second, it was like at a weird angle. I thought they were gone. Okay, we're fine. Uh, let's see how this is doing. Oh, baby. There it is. Okay, you know what? We'll do a little bit of trading in a little bit. That, we'll get some emeralds together. Also, villager trading hall, our library, all of that is coming. But you know what? I need XP. I want to get levels, and this is the best way to do it. Trust me. Oh, I almost jumped off that. And we will upgrade this place uh, in its entirety eventually. Um... We only have, um, we only have two and one is outside. We only have two sheep and one is outside. Um, oh, you can, you go in. Oh, no, that's no, fine. No, 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 not all of you. Not, no, 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 Just, I'm going to do some free range breeding. Um, come. Free range breeding, come. You have a baby with this one. 
And then you two could have babies outside. That's fine. Good job. All right. I just need wool. Thank you. I should do a legit animal pen, shouldn't I? It's coming. Let's do some free range uh, snipping. Okay, real fast. Snip, snip. Oh, thank you, Enderman, for dropping a piece of gravel there. What a lovely chap. Snip. Hurry up and grow up already so I can snip you. Oh, don't rush me, child. Like he was about to attack me. Brownie, let's go, man. Let's do some drive-by snippings. Snip, get drive-by. Snip, snip. It's almost like I'm playing GTA right now. Snip. Oh, Ollie, you're gonna get it. Boop, snip, snip. Do a little drive-by milking later, guys. Last one, snip. All right, I think we're good to go. This is enough for banners. This is enough for a lot of stuff. So we can use this stuff for, oh, one more, for other things as well. But for right now, let's head back and let's do some loomage, right? Let's make a nice banner pattern. Put it on our shield, and then we can uh, block stuff in style. Snip. Oh, God, I can't snip him. Thank you for the ride, Brownie. You're the best. I'll see you soon. Have fun. Eat the hay. All right, now, time to invent something cool. Let's see what I can come up with. I need to make a banner first. You cute. All right, I got a cool banner idea. This came out pretty cool. I got this actually on Instagram. There was like a bunch of different ones that I saw, and this one like stood out to me. Looking pretty cool, right? Look at that. Doesn't it look like it's a little bit spooky, right? Because, you know, this is hardcore after all. It kind of looks like it's like at the edge of a cliff or something. It's kind of like moonlights are coming in. It's a little shadowy. It's a little foggy. Doesn't that look cool? I like that. I like that. If I can find who did it, I'll go ahead and post it. But it was just like a random thing that I saw on Instagram the other day. And I kind of screenshot it with my phone. I'm looking at it right now, but I don't know who did that. If somebody knows who did that, let me know. But uh, that looks so cool, right? Now let's put that on a shield. But just in case, we got to copy it too. So it's a black banner pattern and it has all that stuff right there. You see all the gradients and stuff like that. It looks pretty cool. So there it is. We got two of them. And now let me put this on this bad boy. There it is. Oh, baby. This looks awesome. Let's take a look. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's stylistic. Man, look. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. I might mess around later with like different colors and shapes and stuff like that. But that looks pretty nice. If you guys have any awesome banner patterns, and <laughs> send me up. Send me on Twitter or Discord, Instagram, anywhere you want. Uh, I would love to see them. These are so fun to make. Let's put it right there so we can save it. Oh, that looks spooky. Oh, man. You know what? I'll play around. We'll, we'll maybe on the stream, we'll just play around and make some more stuff. I guess I'm streaming. Now to follow a tutorial, but also I'm going to make a second water bucket so we can have infinite water because we're going to need that as well once we get that all set up. So let's head over really quick to the spot where we're going to do our skeleton XP farm uh, and let's start uh, digging stuff out. Let's head on down here. Hopefully there's no bad guys in here. I think I lit this up pretty good. I got more torches just in case. That was a little dark right there. Uh, and I think we should be okay now, you know, that I'm not scared. I can go ahead and grab that coal as well. But let me take you guys down to where the spot is. Hello? And nothing bad okay cool uh it's right around the corner it's so close look at this so um now the only thing i need to start doing is digging some stuff oh i'm gonna get that too let's put more torches so i believe it's a four spacer from here this way four spacer from here that way four spacer this way then also four above which i think we're already at what one two three one more here and then four below so we're gonna be digging up a little spot here so let me do this part really quick we officially have a hole. It is looking awesome, right? Look how pretty this is. Look at that diorite, a little bit of that granite, cobble, dirt. Oh, it's so pretty. But we also uh, picked up a little bit of material that we needed, right? Iron, a little bit of coal. Uh, it's awesome. And it's a mossy, uh, but we got this all dug out. So it's a four spacer from top to bottom, from left to right. Now we just gotta figure out where we want our kill chamber and where we want the bubble column elevator to go up. So there's gonna be a big drop, boop, and we're gonna murder these guys and we're gonna get so much XP. Now we gotta figure out uh, where to put the water as well. Uh, let me continue with the tutorial I'm looking at. Oh, and I got it. And it's in the description, okay? It's from somebody called 04AM. It was released back in May 5th of 2020. There's over 450,000 views. And the like to dislike ratio is, is okay, it, it's apparently, uh, it works for people. So <laughs> let me continue. It's going to be in the description, though, if you guys want to follow it. And this right here is the Chamber of Death. So <laughs> what's going to happen is all these guys are going to be kind of funneled over here with some water. They're going to go up this section, go all the way to the top, come around, and then boop, fall right into this section so we got this lovely little area got an infinite water source so now we just got to put some water here some water over here this goes all the way down very pretty and then i have to dig all of this out there we go and then i just have to dig the bottom one and this should flow directly into the center bit and we should be good to go only problem is i forgot to get more supplies that i needed i need some signs apparently uh and uh some soul sand soul sand yeah 
I gotta go back into the nether for that one. Good luck, me! Uh, but so far, uh, this is looking pretty good. Uh, let me go to the next part of this tutorial. Okay, hold on. I kind of skipped a couple steps, but uh, we're doing all right. So I got this little area. This is gonna be where the drop shoot happens right here. We got a hopper underneath here with a chest, a slab over here and a slab over here so we can start smacking those skeletons. Now, also, on this side, this is ready to go. We just have some signs. There's four of them right here. We need to go to the nether. So I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> Wish me luck. We gotta put some soul sand over here. Uh, and then we gotta put a water source all the way at the top and then boom this comes down we need to get kelp also so we can make all kinds of source blocks so that um bubble elevator actually works and then check this out so far i got this little ladder very very simple just to get down here to the bottom and then up here i got this ugly old cobble thing so <laughs> this is uh 22 blocks right here uh i think this is the line like this is 22 blocks so now what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a water source right here and it's gonna go all the way to the bottom and that's gonna do source blocks hi uh there's gonna be all source blocks because we're gonna get kelp then the water's gonna go down this direction right and then i put a sign right here at the top and then this will be a big drop and then they'll die right over there i should throw those guys in here what are you looking at uh, but check this out. Really super boring and simple uh, right here. Uh, so the source block is going to go right here. So the water is going to go down this way. And then the water will go down here. And it'll push all the skeletons down. And then boom, that is instant death. So I'm not going to even bother going that way. Uh, yeah. And then we got to figure out what kind of design we want out here. I'm thinking maybe like a little ruined church or something like that would be pretty cool. I don't know. Uh, and then we could just put it right here. And then maybe, okay, this would be like a drop down area maybe like a little mausoleum or something we could do a little cemetery i think that'll be pretty awesome but i uh want to murder these people excuse me i think it's time for you to go what how do you you had piercing didn't you oh no get out of here this is my area thank you that was easy that was easy where's your banner friend huh where's the banner boy i'm not gonna start a raid yet though just want to know so i don't hit him <laughs> I'm gonna need some milk for backup in case I do hit uh, the banner boy. All right, uh, let's make it daytime and let's go to the nether and wish me luck. I just need one piece of soul sand. Just one piece. Hopefully, it's close by. Please be close by. One piece of soul sand. That is all I need, please. Anything down there? Oh, that's a lot of gravel. Okay. Um, let's look this way. Soul sand? Really? Oh, no. Please don't let this be hard. Oh, Enderman, don't you dare touch me. Oh, God, why am I leaping over things? Stop, stop, stop. Oh, no. I I kind of saw him. I kind of looked in his face. Okay, it's fine. Soul sand? Soul sand. No, it's close, though. The lava. Ooh, there's my friend. Oh, look, he's fighting. Is he fighting him? Is he fighting him? Okay, this time you won't hurt me. This time you won't hurt me. What are they doing? They're having a conversation? What are you trying to tell them? It's so weird that they spawn in here. I thought they, they don't spawn at all, but they apparently they do. Uh, no soul sand. Okay. Soul sand. Oh. Um, so I guess we're going that way. It's right there. Okay. Huh. There's a lot over there, too. I need to find a way to get to the other side. Okay. Um, we got this. What's that screeching sound? All right. You know what? How about I go down here, we get a little bit of pillar blockage, and we'll just uh, pillar that way. What's up? What, what bad did happen with that? Nothing, right? We'll be fine. He's right above me. Next time, I'm coming with a jack-o'-lantern. And there's nothing you guys can say to stop me. All right, two stacks. Wish me luck. Let's do this. So, um, we need to figure out that we got to come back up here. This is our spot, right? So, let's just go down. Is he following me? Could ride that, that boy right there, though. I have an extra saddle. It might be a little safer, but the only problem is getting off and on those guys. Oh, it's dangerous. We need to go that way. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to do this. I need so sad. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Pinky, we got this. Okay. Whew. Let's go. Um, I'm just going to go that way. Please, no ghasts. You know what? We can actually do this safe trick that I learned uh, back in the day, right? You do a little wall. Oh, God. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Let's go. What's that noise? Shut your mouth. We're okay. We're okay. I don't even think there's enough blocks if I do that. Oh, hi, cutie. It's like you have a weird uh, hairstyle, but I love you. You're so ugly, you're cute. Don't look at me. My pinky hurts. Okay, we're fine. We're doing this double right here. That's fine. 
I'm gonna need more blocks if I do this, but that's fine. Uh, oh, no, no, it's not that bad. We're almost there. We're almost there, you know? This is cool. I'm doing a little exploration in the nether. My pinky is literally twitching. It hurts me, but it's fine. We got this. Let's keep going. This is smart. This is smart, putting these little walls on the side. All right, we're almost there. We just need to get to that part and then do a little curvity curve. Whew! Let's keep going. Lava looks a little bit like melted cheese, right? A little bit of nacho cheese. I'm hungry now. I want some nachos. The clinching is real. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. No more walls. Go, 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 go. We're here. We're here. Um, the little step. The little step down. Okay. Um, I don't think I have enough to fill this in, but that's fine. There's an Enderman. He's looking at me. He's at the top left of my screen. But you know what? I'm not looking back. One gas explosion, it is all over for your boy. All right, let's do it. We just need to get some soul sand. That's it. Soul sand, and we're out of here. Walk slowly. Walk very cautiously. Look down. Look around. Don't look at Enderman. Don't look at any bad guys. There's pig people over there, but the zombie kind. All right. Right down here should be our soul sand. Right around this corner. Oh, bad guy. Right around this corner. Right around here. Don't look at me. Don't touch. Oof. Where is it? Well, there it is. It's a little low. Um, maybe there's some more exposed right here. That's even better. The other one looked a little bit more dangerous. Hi. Why am I not looking at him? You can look at him. All right. This is a good spot. This is it. Let's hit a couple. Just in case. You guys are going to get ridden later, I promise. Cute. This sounds so weird. It literally sounds like I'm taking the souls from the ground and they're going, oh. Halloween's coming up soon. I should do a spooky build. You know what? A stack is perfect. And might as well take some of these little things. You never know when we might need them. Ooh, Blackstone, how are you? Oh, man, I haven't seen you this uh, this playthrough yet. Might use you for something. Come back for that, though. Nether parkour. What am I doing? Wee, wee, yahoo. All right, we're good. Let's get out of here. I don't want to come back here for at least another couple days. This was enough. And run. Oh, my God, that enemy is up there. And we're safe. Let's get out of here. Oh, wow. Woo. Alive another day. Of course it's nighttime when I come home. Okay, run. Now that we got our soul sand, the next thing we need is kelp. So I do believe there is an ocean by the desert area. So Brownie, you and me, let's go. Let's look for some kelp. I really want to upgrade this desert temple, but what should I put inside? I want to have a purpose for it. Uh, what, are, what, what can we build inside this thing? Maybe bunny sanctuary in there? Huh? A little bunny sanctuary? <laughs> that'll be kind of cool. A desert temple bunny sanctuary transformation. Oh, that'll be kind of cool. Oh, there's all our kelp. All right, Brownie, wait for me right here. I think a stack is pretty good. It's more than we need, but you know what? Would you guys be down for a little a bit of a boating adventure? Maybe we can go down here and look for some buried treasure, look for some sunken ships, some bad guys. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want to see that maybe in the next episode. I'll be down. Now, let's do it. We're going to put our soul sand right over there. That is beautiful. Then I'm going to go up to the tippy top. We're going to jump on in here. And I believe this is the spot, right? We're going to throw our water bucket over here. I should close this off. I left all my cobblestone. Um, Come here, cobblestone. Now I think we're ready. Let's drop this in here. I just want to be able to see over here for a second. Let's just open this up. Perfect. And we're going to drop water right there. This should flow down. It's going to get stopped by the sign. And make sure I don't go down that way. Oh, my God. Imagine if I die from that. Oh, my God. It's pushing me. We're fine. Stop. What is happening right now? Okay. So then we're going to break that. That's going to go all the way to the bottom, right? Pretty. Then over here, we're just going to put a uh, kelp, right? And this is going to make all the source blocks that's perfect and then let's go around oh god don't you fall in there uh i think we can leave that oh god please don't fall in there we're fine let's just close that off for now go back downstairs run over here and knock down that bad boy and this should be all source of blockage and i'm not gonna test it i'm not gonna test it because if i go up there i'm gonna get stuck right and then i'm gonna fall to my death all right you want to test it no i don't want to test it okay i'll test it no i don't want to test it let, let me let me block upstairs real fast <laughs> All right, I'm just going to block that, just in case, okay? I'm just going to block that. All right, let's take a ride in the elevator. Now it's safe. Let's go. And we Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, baby. Okay, uh, and it's nighttime. Okay, uh, let me run back home. Uh, I'm not ready for this life. And go. Ooh, those skeletons are going to die real bad. Now, everything is working perfectly. All I got to do is get rid of all these torches, but I'm not ready yet. I think what I'm going to do 
is design this a little bit. Give you a nice little feel for this. Make it look cool. Um, we're gonna need a weight up and down that looks a little bit better than this. So uh, let's see what we can design really fast. I have no idea how we're gonna set this up. Uh, but uh, yeah, give me a second before we have this uh, actually working and skeletons flying in. Uh, I wanna make it look nice. The ruining has begun. So this is looking pretty cool. It looks like an actual ruin of an old church at one point. So we got this big broken hole. Uh, everything here is still functional, I believe. I gotta recheck it just in case if I didn't break anything really badly in there, but it's looking good. We got some of these bushes here on the outside. I wanna add some coarse dirt also here on these ends just to make it look a little bit more uh, beat up and also some path blocks, some just messed up path inside here as well. So it looks like the structure used to to be these bits right here then uh kind of like it went down this direction and then it went down this direction so i wanted to make this look like it's been around here for a very 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 long time i also want to bring in a little bit of wood and just throw it in the middle like the inside had almost like a wood flooring at one point so we can have something like that right here in the middle bits i think something like that in there uh and then over here it's gonna be our way down um so we haven't done anything down there yet so i'm still playing around with how this is looking uh so i just want to lift this up here on the top bring in a little bit more of the coarse dirt around here some broken paths some more bush kind of like even on the inside kind of wrapping in and out of this thing kind of like that uh, i also have a little bit of mossy that i bring here as well and i don't know i think it's looking pretty cool like this was a really cool old church maybe back here i could do a little bit of a walled off area kind of like let's just play around with a little bit uh how this would line up kind of maybe just a little bit out the back right there. So this one's kind of like on the edge of that corner. This will probably be at the edge of this corner. And we kind of take a little bit back here, maybe bring this down, uh, some stairs, some slabs, stuff like that. We'll break this down. So something very simple right here on the back. And then some of these can have like little headstones right here on the bottom. So maybe just a couple right here. There's one, maybe a two, and then maybe an extra one kind of like off to this side over here. I think that'll be perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think this is looking kind of cool. What do you guys think? Just off to the side there, nothing too crazy, nothing too like uh, nice looking. Uh, and then we're gonna do a lot of overgrown, a lot of bone milling over here, uh, but we're gonna have so many bones, you are not gonna know what to do with it. So uh, let me finish this part off and then we'll take care of the downstairs part, have a little a section down there to make it look nice. This is looking really, really cool right now. It's very basic though. It's nothing too crazy big, but I actually started taking away all that nasty old diorite, the random granite in here, and just give it a little bit of a patchwork here because I want to put some glass here. Uh, let me know in the comment section. Can I put glass? Would it affect any rates if I put panes or if I put full blocks? I want to see them like fall down. <laughs> so uh, hopefully it comes out pretty cool. I got these cool sections over here. I wanted to put some armor stands here. I don't have enough iron just to fill this in, but I want to put some armor up here and then it just stores around the side. Uh, and he said, I said, archways on this section over here. I want to make like a little bit of a vaulted ceiling look. Uh, so for this, I'm going just like this It's a little bit different from the ones I usually do. Uh, the ones I usually do uh, are like a, maybe like a three by three or about five by five pattern, but going up like this, right? It gives you like a little arch right there, which looks pretty awesome, I think. Uh, and it's looking nice. So let's see if we can finish this little last piece off. And there it is. Perfecto. Uh, and yeah, we got some lights over here, lights over here. This is all ready to go. I want to add a little bit more light under this, but getting some shroom lights. I have a shroom light right there. I could get some more, but uh, I think it'll be all right. Uh, we got lantern here, here, lantern over here. Now, the only thing left to do is to get rid of all these torches, but also fill this with glass. Another thing that I'm not sure if it'll affect it at all. If I put a little bit of bone meal in here, put some seagrass or something, what, can I put it? Maybe, I think it'll only go in this section. Right? Oh, because these are not source blocks. Okay, okay, I just wanted to test it out. I was like, maybe we could put a little bit of bone meal in. I think if I do it, it'll be just there. Uh, but nah, it's not gonna it's not gonna do nothing. That would have that would have been a little bit overkill. But that's fine. Now, time to get rid of all these torches and glass this thing out and let's test this thing. Hopefully it works. For now I'm using glass panes. Hopefully that's okay. I just got black glass there. I think that might be fine. Hopefully, I don't know. You guys let me know if anything will change it uh to something else. Maybe just full block. Oh, they're starting already! No, please! No, not yet! Get out! Not yet! It's not time yet, stupid! What? He's shooting me from in there? Okay. Shut up. Stop it. Can you leave? Are you supposed to leave now? Maybe he's supposed to get pushed. Okay, hold on. Let's get this last one here. And then get that. 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 And that. And then they're coming. They're coming. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Okay, we're fine. Woo! Okay. 
I think this is gonna work. All right, I think they get pushed over. Okay, so they're supposed to go all the way to the top and then brah, it crashed right here. Wait, why is there water here? Why is there water here? Oh no, mistakes were made. The sign is definitely broken in here once I started messing around with this. Okay, let me uh, I'll go up here and fix this. Oh God. Yep, that's what it was. Um, I fixed it, I think, hopefully. Okay, this should be good, but the, the skeletons are coming out. I think it's because of that glass. I'm just gonna cover that up. I'm just gonna cover that glass up. I covered up this whole glass thing, and it's been working so good right now. I've been AFK for just a little bit. I've been editing the video up to this point, and it's so, so good. This is just, just a fun video, but check this out. Let me show you something cool. So, 36 levels I have currently. This thing is working lovely. Oh, baby, there it is. So good. Look at that. Oh, baby, and guess what? You want to see something else that's pretty awesome? Look at all this loot. So I'm thinking we're going to have to extend this a little bit with another hopper, maybe more chests, uh, because this is just, I think there's like maybe 45 minutes uh, of just AFK in, and uh, it's completely filled up. So, yeah, we're, we're good for bones. We're good for arrows. We're good for cross, well, not crossbows, we're regular bows. We can combine some of these to make an OP bow, and I'm definitely going to do something like that. Maybe we can get um, something out here. Maybe a grindstone would be pretty cool, and maybe an anvil would be pretty good as well. We could maybe put them uh, on these corners <laughs> but that is looking so good i am so happy right now and then up here at the top i added some more details by adding some soul sand over here we got our wood floor here a little bit of a broken piece over there on that side more overgrown uh more bone mealing all the way around here the cemetery is right here and that looks so awesome get an open casket right over here maybe we can ri uh, rig something like with a uh, redstone or something to have something pop up uh like an armor stand or something does it be a little bit more spooky around here uh but i love it we got all of the uh, skeletons just coming around in this little area and this is looking so nice the only thing i want to add probably later on is maybe some dead trees around here uh definitely a path that goes over to from our area to connect to this section to go around into sanctuary that'll be a nice little addition but what do you guys think of our ruined church Oh, this is so cool. Finally, we have a source of XP with the skeleton farm, but I, I love it. Let me know what you guys want to see next. We got so many things we could do, but let me know what you guys want to see in the next episode. But for right now, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.